Hey, Deer Creek High School. It's Jason. Just wanted to give you a quick reminder on how to set up your gradebook in case you forgot. Once you log into PowerSchool, you'll want to open up your gradebook. So click that button. I already have mine opened up. And here is one of my classes. I have not set the gradebook up yet. You're going to want to make sure that up here in this upper left corner, where it says semester one, that you are in 2013-2014 and that you're in semester one. I've got Creative Writing 2 first hour, so let's just hop over here to the Grade Setup tab. It's got an A plus and a wrench on it. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to be given this little Semester 1 option and an arrow. Click the arrow. Down here at the bottom, you'll have a choice between total points and category weights. And we have to make our semester test worth 10% of the grade in the class. So we're going to choose category weights. So click that. Here's where you add your categories. You're a returning teacher, so you've got categories that you've used in the past over here on the left. And for my creative writing class, I know there's going to be a semester test. So I can, oop, you know what? All I have to do is click add category and then scroll down to what it is that I need to add. There's my semester test, and my students are going to do a semester portfolio, at least in this example. I keep clicking it over there on the left-hand corner. You don't need to do that. In fact, you can click everything at once that you want. Okay, let's just say it's going to be out of these four things. It's not, but just for this example, we'll say that it is. Make sure the semester test is out of 10 points, and then obviously, you want this to add up to 10. So maybe my participation grade is going to be 10% as well. Semester por portfolio could be 20%. And then if I've done my math right, then the category I'm calling points could be 60. What's nice about making a category called points is you can just lump everything else together in there. Um, you may not like doing it that way, but I've done that in classes in the past and it's worked out okay. So it adds up to 100. And then I'm just going to hit save. And then my category weights are set for this particular class, Creative Writing 2. And I just need to add in my new category weights for my other classes. And, you know, it's late. I'm a little tired. There's probably, a I know there's a way to copy these categories to apply it to other classes. I don't feel confident right now. But anyway, I hope that helps you and have a fantastic year. Go Antlers.